I could do the video like this, maybe I wouldn't be so nervous. No one really needs to see my face. Yeah, I think it's better if they see the face. Yeah, there. Okay. Hello, this is Trixie and again I brought my flatmate Eric because you told me that you loved him under the last video where we were talking about the German culture compared to the Southern American culture and in the comments you were like crazy, you were like, oh he's so likeable, I love him. They love me? They love you, I told you, and you were crazy about them loving you. Okay, he cool. was really, really happy about your comments. So please continue telling him how cute he is, how handsome he is, how awesome he is. I think he's, he's gonna appreciate it. One of you asked us if we could do a video about how it is to be flatmates, if this is a good idea, or if it's better to stay alone, and what's the, the advantages and disadvantages of living together, and we thought this is a pretty good idea. Because living together can be hell, but it can be heaven too. So let's just talk about that and find out whether or not you should live together with someone or better have a flat on your own. Well, um, I would like to start by saying some stuff. Um, hello again. Um, some stuff that we find out that living together has been a little bit difficult. First of all, I would say something about the bathroom. The bathroom situation is a little bit uncomfortable sometimes because when you go to the bathroom, she, Trixie, has like 10,000 different shampoos and stuff inside the bathroom. So and we go, we need it. We need every single piece of it. Do you really need like 20,000 yes. creams and shampoos and stuff? I have two different shampoos. One with cherry flavor, one with vanilla flavor. Sometimes I feel more like the creamy day and sometimes I feel more like the fruity day. So I need those two. Then I have my shaving gel, then I have my shower gel. Also two types because to the shower, to the cherry gel, I can't use something like mango, then it's two fruits, that's a fruit salad. I don't want to, to smell like a fruit salad. So I have to combine different sorts of gels. I just need a shampoo and a soap. That's all the stuff that a man needs to shower. <laughs> and she has like 10,000 things different there and you cannot throw them away because she really gets angry if you touch them. So Yeah, of course I need them. Yeah. I just remember going to, this, to the shopping mall with you, like searching for a shampoo. And I was like, oh, look at this. <laughs> Oh, this smells awesome. Do you smell that? And you were like, okay, I need a shampoo too. This one says shampoo. I'm gonna take it. This was awesome. I, I wish I could be like that, but I'm like, nah, that's, that smells a little bit too artificial. So yes, I really need all this stuff. It's shampoo. And I smell bad. Do I smell bad? Yeah, actually you do. But, yeah, what? <laughs> no, you don't. Oh God. Well, yeah, so that's that's the first thing that I can talk about. The, the, the bathroom situation is a little bit complicated. So um, uh, one of the things that I can tell you guys that uh, if you want to live with someone else in a flat, uh, you have to take some considerations like um, you have to be really, um, how do you say this, um, you have to stay with the other people in what they like to do. Like if this person is really tidy or if really cleaning some stuff, you have to be a little bit um, again forward against this behavior because if you are not the same type of person with the, that the other person is you're gonna get into conflicts all the time yeah I would say you can be different types of persons but you should agree on basic topics like tidiness of the flat if you have one person that's a messy not doing anything and has stuff flying around like socks in the kitchen and I don't know toilet paper in the bed that's horrible this doesn't work and the other person is a super clean person that cleans the bathroom a hundred times a day I think this is not gonna work so if you search a flatmate you should talk about several topics that like like how clean should the flat be how often should we tidy up and if you feel like the other person has different views on things you should maybe consider seeing someone else for example for us too it's really it's really easy to tidy up because we have the same opinion on that we are both clean persons but not really tidy persons to be honest well we don't really care if there's boxes flying around or folders or clothes sometimes Yeah, well, it's going to be annoying you? sometimes. <laughs> she, you know, Trixie, oh god, oh god, you have to see how she handles clothes here. Uh, the first time I came here, I saw like 10,000 different clothes laying around the floor. I don't even own 10,000 different clothes. Well, there were a lot of clothes. And she has a lot of hair. You see this? <laughs> she has like too much don't hair. Don't touch my hair. Well, I'm sorry. She has so much hair. 
and it's <laughs> everywhere. Even in the bathroom, when you take a shower, you see the this ball of hair laying on the floor, and you're like, oh god, no, I don't want to touch. So yeah, this kind of stuff. It's Actually, this annoying. is true. Yeah. I I don't really know how I can still have hair on my head, considering the fact how much hair is around in this flat. It's really annoying, and I I don't really know what to do against it because I vacuum clean everything, I clean the bathroom, but still there's hair running around. And yeah. I mean running around. It must move. I don't know how yeah. this happens. I had to buy a vacuum cleaner for that. <laughs> it's not only for that. Come on. Well, but this helps a lot. But a vacuum cleaner is a good keyword because what I think happens really good in our flatmate chip, I don't know really about this word, uh, is that we share every investment that we have to make. For example, we just uh, we just found out, okay, we need a vacuum cleaner. We're just choking in dust. So let's buy a vacuum cleaner. And he bought it because last month I paid the rent on my own. So we just share the money. It's really it's really easy to do it like this. So you should have an overview about the investments and the stuff you pay and then you just do it 50-50. Or um, let's say someone of you earns a little bit more money, then he gives a little bit more than the other person. It should be fair. Yeah, you have to really speak with your partner that you're gonna move in or live with uh, about the situation, about the money. Because when I came here, she was already paying for the apartment. And she told me, no, let me just keep paying the apartment because that's the way I like to do it. So I had to move in and do something about it because I don't want to live here without paying anything. What's that? So because we're friends and everything's fine, uh, I agreed with her that I'm going to pay stuff like the washing machine, like the vacuum cleaner, stuff in the house that we have to buy, uh, wardrobe, whatever we need, we need here in the house. So everything's better because we talked about this before. Yeah, but you really have to talk about it. You shouldn't be shy really telling the other person, hey, I feel like I paid 50 bucks more last month, so please pay a little bit more this time. Yeah. Just have an overview, have a list of stuff you pay for, and if the other person is not that does, doesn't like that idea of showing his money off and stuff like this. This is not a good flatmate. You should really talk about money, even if it's, it's a nasty topic actually. But this is really, really um, important yeah. to have a, a good yeah, it's workflow. A it's a flat. delicate situation that you have to yeah, talk about. Yeah, but you have to. Well, um, moving on, I would like <laughs> to say something about decisions here in the house. Uh, for example, when you're living with someone else and you have to decide what to eat each other, uh, sometimes we do it together, we like to eat together, so we, we're going to find something to eat in a, in a place, I don't know. And it's so freaking difficult to make her grab a decision. It's like, what do you want? I don't know, maybe something with mushrooms? Mm, what do you want? Uh, you know, maybe just a salad because I'm a little bit chubby lately, but actually I feel like pizza. God damn it, what do you want? Tell me. But not with too much cheese, but I love cheese. Maybe we could buy just cheese and do like a gratin or something. This would be awesome with a lot of vegetables and potatoes and I don't know, but buying something is always so expensive. Uh, so you see, it's a little bit annoying sometimes. So this is how it goes all the time. <laughs> yes. Whatever he asks me, I would never ever answer in one sentence what I like to eat. It's always a big discussion. So either he decides like directly what he wants to eat and that's it. Or we discuss for over an hour to just buy pizza again, like always. Yeah, it's difficult <laughs> to decide. So if you're gonna live with someone else, you have to know that this kind of behaviors could happen sometimes. Like you have to decide a lot of stuff together, and don't, sometimes it takes a long time to decide because the other person maybe no doesn't want the same stuff that you want. Yeah, but I think this could be better with a male flatmate. If you're two males, you would just agree on yeah, let's have pizza. Yeah, pizza is awesome. A beer and pizza. That's yeah, it. exactly. Beer, pizza, great. Yeah, and the, the <laughs> fridge would be all around. Yeah, a fridge would be stuff. full of beer. Pizza would be lying around everywhere, it would smell like hell, <laughs> and this would work perfectly. What? So I think we're we're a special case of flatmates, because we're opposite gender, and we're from di different nationalities, so I think we have a lot of struggles to deal with, but we're doing a good job. But I think it's a little bit unfair if you're just criticizing me over and over I again, because you. I have to mention a few things too. About For example, what? one thing that is like... A good example for being tolerant in a flat is the furniture. I was owning this apartment before he came. I was planning to live on my own because I'm a person that needs a lot of privacy, who just feels really, really, really creative and needs a lot of time for him, for herself and likes to dream and just, just lay around and think. And I didn't plan to have someone here. So everything I bought, furniture and stuff, was my own 
my own taste, let's say like this. And I took special care that all the drawers are either brown, like dark brownish and white. And what happened when he came to this flat? He needed a wardrobe. Oh, the mister needed a wardrobe. Who needs a wardrobe? I have a wardrobe already. I don't care about you. So he bought a wardrobe and it had black drawers. Everything, Just see, I like black drawers. Everything in my house is white and brown. And this was brown and black. But I like black colors, what's the matter with it? Yeah, I know. But they look cool. Just a, a simple example. <laughs> See, that's just not fitting. We can't do it like this. And But after a while, I was just recognizing, okay, I like this guy. I don't have to think about black drawers. This is ridiculous. So if you're planning to have someone in your flat, this is something normal to happen. You can't share exactly the same taste. You can't share the same taste about drawers. This is ridiculous. Just forget about it. It's, it's more important to have a good flow with a person than really agree on everything in your flat. Yeah. Just don't try to do it. <laughs> Another thing that we already talked about in the other video was about garbage separation. You always did these bags with all the stuff inside and I had to pick it out, but now you're improving a lot in just having the garbage where it belongs. Mm -hmm. But still, something, something you always do is throwing stuff into the sink in the kitchen. Like why? For me, the sink means clean it because we keep it. But so what, what does it mean if there's half an orange in it? Do you plan to use this as a cereal bowl or something after you clean it? How am I supposed to clean half an orange? I don't know. Can you tell me? <laughs> Sometimes I just throw stuff into the sink because I'm going to grab it later to and throw it away. beer bottles. Why? Why? Do you want them to be cleaned? But no, sometimes I just put stuff into the, into the sink because I'm gonna grab them later. I'm gonna put them in a bag or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but later we have a big pile of stuff in there and there's like garbage inside, dishes, food leftovers, spikes, for example, food leftovers. Another thing, always every breakfast you leave over like a single piece of your croissant or something. What's so, what's so mean about this evil piece of croissant? Not everyone, know. not everyone eats everything. So they have to eat everything but a little bit. So I, the, the croissant doesn't get like uh, sad. It, it, you have to have <laughs> happiness in the croissant. So you, you, you leave a little bit of it, of it for, for someone else. Yeah, but there's just this little, little, little piece left and I have to throw it away. Instead of just washing the dish as it is. This would save so much time if you would just eat one bite more. Use a photo. You see, this is not normal. This is not normal. But okay, this is still stuff that I can definitely live with. Well, something else that you have to take in consideration when living together is the privacy. It's a little bit difficult to keep privacy if you're living a more a girl and a boy, you know. It's a little bit um, difficult to handle around. You don't want her to see you naked or she doesn't want to see you naked or whatever, you know. So, you have to keep privacy really tight. Uh, for example, when you go to the bathroom, you have to clean everything up, you have to not lay your stuff around like uh, your underwear or stuff like this. So you have to really keep a separation in the stuff that you use every day and you do. So the other person doesn't get annoyed or a little bit worried about what you do. Yeah, you have to really tolerate the privacy of the other person and give her space. It's really cool if you're like friends and do everything together. But still, sometimes you just need to ask the other person, do you want me to leave for two hours that you can do stuff? Whatever stuff is, but still, just give the other person space. This is really important. And don't be shy to ask her, do you need space? Please just tell me. Yeah. <sighs> well, another thing that I can say about uh, everything else, and I think that this is to finish everything here, uh, it's about the appointments, uh, about the time estimations. We already talked about that in another video, but it's a little bit difficult when you have to do stuff together. Because, from, for example, I don't come from, I know German, so, well, I'm German, but I wasn't born here. And uh, it's a little bit difficult with time estimations here in Germany and how she handles the time. So, if you're living with someone else that's not German or you come from another place, uh, you have to keep in mind that you have to get around the system in Germany about the time estimations. So sometimes she can be really upset at me because I don't plan the stuff in time or I don't do everything in the, in the way it was planned before. For example, we need to leave for work because we work at the same place together. And every morning I'm standing there full in my clothes and just waiting for him. And I'm like, okay, we leave at half past seven. And whatever happens, he's never ready at half past seven even. 
if he promises me a hundred times. Or for example, the expression, give me five minutes. But this is usually... never five minutes. It's rather <laughs> one second and I'm not ready yet. Or it's one hour or it happens. It never happens. This is the case that most likely happens. It doesn't happen at all. You have to give me time sometimes for my stuff, you know? Yeah, of course. But then just tell me it's going to be an eternity. <laughs> Why did you say that we're done? You just mentioned, oh yeah, you have a list there and I have a list here. And I didn't mention all the points that I wanted to criticize about you. So okay. let's go on with this. I'm sorry about the points. So what about telephoning friends at midnight so loud being in the kitchen that I can still hear you? If I would be able to, to talk Spanish and to understand Spanish, I could understand every single word that this guy says. And he phones Hold his up. friends like at midnight and I can hear it from my bed, which is two rooms distant from the kitchen and I can still hear it. I can steer every word and try to sleep when there's a really annoying Spanish voice just telling stuff. And when he talks to his family, this is about fine, but when he talks to his friends, he's like really man-like. You know how man friends communicate with each other, like blah 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 and laughing all the time and really macho like and I don't know and this is so annoying. And I always wonder if the neighbors could hear him. Yeah, of course. They this could. is something I don't know. I would never do this at midnight. But yeah, this is maybe your taste. It's just a little bit it's about the same stuff we talked about in the other video. That you know, people in Latin America are a little bit different with the friends. Yeah. So sometimes when I when I hear one of my friends and I call him or he calls me or something like this happens, we're really, really emo uh, emotional about each other. So when we talk about something, it's really loud, like, yeah, how are you, man? How is everything? How's your life? This is how it happens. So people will be a little bit like uh, distressed about the tone of my voice when, they, when I talk about them. Yeah, maybe. And there's another thing. For example, I always do the laundry, like most of the time, because he likes to do several stuff and I like to do several stuff. He most likely does the dishes and I prefer doing the laundry. And when I go to do the laundry and I pick the, the wet clothes out, it's always that your clothes are from the inside out. You never sort them before you give it to me. And sometimes I find socks in the pants and, and, and underwear in the pants still. And I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't wash underwear right now. I just want wanted to wash pants and I just have to pick this all out and sort it and do stuff and I hate it to, to grab into wet clothes and just pull it over to turn it around. Why? What's so difficult about giving me stuff how it's created and not from the inside out? I use something, I put it off, I put it to wash. That's <laughs> it. I don't really care about what's going on. Going on with yeah, the, maybe there's something inside and I found so many awesome stuff like coins, fisherman's friends, Tissues really nice to pick all the little tissue pieces from the clothes and oh, it snowed inside the washing machine Ah, oh, so beautiful. Well, the washing machines are made for that, right? <laughs> yeah, awesome So this is something I really don't like about you and what I also don't like is that I also always have to phone people I'm a person that hates phoning people, but of course this is a language problem. What should I do about it? You just you're not able to speak German, so I have to call the janitor or someone that cares about the heating or heating was broken lately and there's always me caring about this stuff. I can speak a little bit of German. Yeah, but they would never get your problem. How <laughs> would you tell them that I don't know das Waschmaschinen Abfluss vor weiß kleine Spuren der Abnutzung auf. La lavadora tenía problema lavando y tenía. Yeah, maybe, but I think this could be difficult to tell the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like this. So, all in all, this is all nothing bad. I What we want to say with all those little points about our flaws and whatever is that it's not easy to live with someone, especially when you're a person that needs a lot of privacy like myself. But if you handle this with a lot of, lot of humor, like us doing a video about it, laughing about it, and after this video we're gonna hug again and everything's fine. Um, maybe. And then it could work. But if you're a person that takes a lot of care about those things, like everything has to be perfect, everything has to be like you wish it to be, then I think flatmate stuff doesn't work too well. So you have to be tolerant, you have to be respectful, you have to be not too shy about talking about different topics like money, like giving space to each other. And yeah, just be open to the other person's culture, the other person's interests. And then it could work really well because 
One of the biggest advantages of living together is that you're never alone. You can always ask for advice, like, oh, this cute guy at work today, I found out that he has a girlfriend, what shall I do? Can we just see a movie or something? Most probably he's gonna see the movie and I'm gonna fall asleep. But still, it feels like friendship. It feels like we're doing something together, I'm not alone, I can always ask for help. If I'm ill, he's gonna make me tea or whatever because I had a cold lately and he was really caring, pretty good about me. So you're not alone, you can rely on someone. But it takes a while to to create this relying. It just, yeah, it's not from one moment to another. You have to work on it, it's work. Mm -hmm. It's like a relationship too, you have to work on it so that it functions. It's like a relationship? It's like a relationship. It's similar to a relationship. So do we have something? Yeah, actually I think I summed it up pretty well. Do you have to add something? I think it's pretty well done. It's work, you have to take care of each other, but it can be a really nice thing to, to live together. And especially those people who tend to be a little bit shy can really profit from having a flatmate out of a sudden. Even if you don't feel like living with another person, it's not as bad as you would expect it. I'm a really shy person too, I need a lot of space, but still I would always choose living with a flatmate, So, for, for my opinion. And um, I don't know how you feel about it, I never lived with a girl, I always choose those guys to be my flatmates, the last one was a guy too. I don't really know how it is to live with a girl. I couldn't really imagine because girls are sometimes a little bit bitchy or, I don't know, a little bit difficult to handle. I just imagine two girls trying to find something to eat. So like double me and this doesn't work for me. I'm more like a, a buddy girl. I like to have my buddy next to me and just have a nice friendship and yeah, a nice flatmate chip. I need to know if this word exists. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your approval. I'm the expert here, yeah. Cool. So, please end the video then. Okay. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> That's not expert-like. Yeah, but you, you, have, you, to, you the video. have to make something really cool in the end. What? I had to, what? Like, I don't know. I said something in Explode. Spanish. Explode. Ciao. Is we need an explosion effect. <laughs> I think that didn't work. You think so? Did you see fire? No, but we did an explosion, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... I think that was a pretty nice explosion. Yeah. Bye! 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 Bye. Would you please wave? Bye! Ciao. <laughs> we could go tomorrow if you want. No, 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 no.